Hello, welcome to the Junos Pi EZ Read the Docs Documentation Learning Bite. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After watching this learning bite, you will be able to use the Junos Pi EZ Read the Docs documentation. I was recently assigned a development project that forced me to learn the Junos Pi EZ library. I do not have really any Python experience. I knew what Junos Pi EZ was, but I had never really used it. So I started from the beginning. So where do you start when you're starting from the beginning? I started with the Introduction to Junos Platform Automation and DevOps course. That exposed me to Python, Junos Pi EZ, how to get it installed, and I saw examples of basic Python scripts that started my Junos automation journey. And I really was fascinated by it and enjoyed learning how to use it to make my life simpler. And so what I discovered was there's some free Junos Pi Easy documentation created and maintained by Juniper Networks. It's hosted on the readthedocs.io website. This documentation explains all of the Python modules that are included as part of the Junos Pi Easy library, all of the object classes that those modules define, what parameters are valid for those object methods, what arguments are supported, and it helped me make my scripts better and more capable. I was always able to find an example Python script that leveraged Junos Pi EZ that could come close to doing exactly what I wanted it to do. But of course, every use case is unique. Well, I need to do it a little bit different. I'd like this to happen when this script is run. And that's where this documentation really helped me see every possible option available when I'm running a Python script and trying to automate a Junos device. I have a couple of Python scripts I'd like to look at with you and, and help you understand how the readthedocs.io documentation helped me make these scripts actually work. So the first script that you look at uses the Junos Pi EZ secure copy object class to copy a software image up to a target. If this, in this example, it's a VMX. The first example Python script uses the SCP, the Genos Pi EZ SCP object class to establish a secure copy connection with the Genos platform and upload a new Genos software image. And so I needed to know that the secure copy object existed, what its valid methods were. The, for example, the first script performs an SCP put operation. And then I needed to know how to put this from here to over there. What are valid values that I could define or valid options for the put method that would allow me to specify the source file that I would like to copy and the target location I would like the file to be stored on on the target host. So you read it, using the readthedocs.io documentation, I was able to see all of the methods, all of the valid options for the particular methods. And it helped me complete that script and perform the operations I needed to automate my, my network. Just a, another simple example, now I want to retrieve a file. I don't want to upload a file to a Genos device. I want to retrieve a file from, so I was able to discover, okay, there's a valid method you get for the secure copy object. And now I specify I want to get what from where and where do you want to place it on the local system. So I was able to determine the local path option and how to specify the local path and, and the remote path. So again, having that documentation and being able to see all the options really helped me take existing Python scripts and know the available options that allowed me to modify those scripts so they would fit my particular use case. Let's connect to the readthedocs.io site now and examine some of this documentation. I am at the junos-pyez.readthedocs.io site, and this is where the documentation is stored. The jnpr.junos, this is the name of the Junos Pi EZ a library when you're referencing it in your Python interpreter or using it in a Python script. This is the name of the library, and it consists of a series of modules. And each module, for example, there's a device module included. And the device module defines the device object class. It explains all of the methods 
that that particular device object class supports. Now, the device object represents a, a Junos device. And so if I create a device object, I, there are certain methods I would like to perform, such as I'd like to open a connection to that device. Then I, when I'm done performing whatever administrative operation I want to perform, I'd like to close that connection. But it explains to you not only the method, but what options, what parameters are available for that particular method. And then if something goes wrong, if I write a Python script and I run it, and for example, well, the, the script is correct, but it was not able to establish the connection to the target Junos device, or it did not authenticate successfully, or the operation did not succeed. Those are called exceptions. The script is correct, but it's not able to complete its functions for some external reason. And so it lists for you possible exceptions of that this method would generate if something went wrong. So then I can use, for example, in my Python code, some try and accept syntax to, to handle these exceptions. So I, I know whether my script was successful, and I can also work around certain issues, certain exceptions. So this documentation, as, as I was mentioning, was, was very good, especially for me as a beginner, but I think even advanced users of Genos Py EZ and advanced Python administrators aren't going to know every single feature and argument and option that's available inside of the Junos Py EZ library. One popular module is the utils module. There's a lot of operations that can be performed, and I'm able to select that, and it shows me all of the sub-modules that are included as part of the, the utils module. For example, there's a config module that defines the configuration object class. These are the methods that are supported by that object class, and it, I can walk through the documentation. For example, the commit method. What, what parameters does that method support? And if you have any Junos experience at all, a lot of these would be fairly familiar to you because they look similar to options that you specify when you're performing a commit operation using the Juno CLI. So again, as a beginner, somebody that didn't have really any Python background and really not much knowledge of Juno's PyEZ, the Juno's PyEZ documentation on the readthedocs.io site was just perfect for me, and I think it would help you be better when it comes to automating the Juno's platforms in your network using Juno's PyEZ. In this learning by we used Junos PyEZ Read the Docs documentation. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.